Welcome back to the new construction simulator for episode 10 with me, Mr. CVP. Right then, what's next for me and my construction company? Well, it's time to expand. We need to work on our expansion process uh, and broaden our horizons, I think, open up a few more jobs and contracts. Thank you to Scott and um, Gary and all the people that have been reaching out. Uh, thank you, Scott, for reminding me when I did the contract, the two of the contracts where I used the... Um, concrete mixer. I've been taking dirt out of the hole, putting it into a dump truck, taking that down to the quarry to sell the dirt and making a bit of money back. What I forgot to do was any concrete left over and I should have realised when I was doing the pumping just across there, that when the um, concrete pump ran out there was still stuff left in the concrete mixer. When I finished the contract I just returned them both. I could have taken the extra concrete back and got some money back on that and it didn't even dawn on me. So thank you for that. Uh, right, what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to go to jobs. We've got contracts and we've got campaigns. So at the moment, or there, we've got active jobs. We don't have an active job at the moment. I haven't taken one on. If we go to offers, so we've got our contract and we've got a campaign. If we go to campaign and we can look across at the campaigns that are available. Those are all locked at the moment. That one to the left says complete the opening campaign first to unlock this one. Now, I think that's the one, maritime tourism, where you build the... Um, uh, the ferris wheel out on the uh, on the pier i mean it shows you on the picture but i think that's the one um so what we're going to do we go to opening campaign click on that it tells us all the opening campaign contracts we've done but then on the end it's the expansion contract now i've spoken about that a little bit it says you need to own three construction machines and buy the second company of premises to upgrade uh, in upgrade levels to take this job so what i've got to do is go to there upgrade levels I need to go across to there and I need to spend some money. But I'm spending money to make money. So this is my investment in my own company. The money we've been making. If we purchase that, that's now unlocked. I am going to sort out getting um, a mechanic at some point. Just not quite yet. So we go back to jobs, back to campaign, back to there. Hopefully if we go across, that's now available. select home base meeting oh okay estimated earnings zero. Oh, so we just got kind of a meeting have we oh, i thought we had like a, a big old job to do you know so ah oh, downtown okay are we going to move premises or something? Oh, I don't. We'll find out. I suppose that's the point, isn't it? So, we can look at details. Oh, no, that's the one we were on, wasn't it? Accept the expansion job to use your new company premises. Oh, right. She's done that. Job expansion accepted. We've got 2,444 metres to go. That means a lot of transporting backwards and forwards. Now, we haven't been to that building before. We zoom out. Oh, okay, we've got a fair old way to go. I'm just thinking if there's any way we could... I suppose we could fast travel there and drive across, couldn't we? Just to save ourselves a bit of time. If we wanted to. It's getting late. By the time we get there, it's going to be dark, probably. You notice I've, I've logged in today to start playing, and it's not doing that weird, stuttery, jerky thing. It's odd. It's like sometimes it doesn't seem to load properly. I found that... Um, my load screen when I came up I thought what I would do is go and check on a couple of things on the European map for some reason my European map keeps crashing at the load screen my US map the one I'm on here doesn't I've had no problems at all on here um, but that stuttery thing that I was having problems with in the last episode I don't seem to be at the moment so who knows um, and weirdly I say weirdly when you go on to, when you're on the start menu and you want to have a look at the, um, the two, well, it depends how many save games you've got on the go, but my two save games, both of the pictures of my character were all pixelated, which they haven't been before, so it's odd, and I'm, yeah, it seems random, like it suddenly decides, oh, yeah, we'll kind of, lie, I'll load part of the game, but not all of it, or, I okay, yeah, can't quite fathom, anyway, I'll drive part of the way, and, uh, and then what we'll do is... You know, I know I said about not doing this, but I guess, I don't know. Some people want to see it, some people don't. 
And it is all part and parcel, I suppose, if you're going to be doing the driving. I've got the night time to get through. I'd rather if I'm going to do an actual contract. But it does look like it's just going to be a meeting. I'll go and speak to the... I say the boss. I suppose I'm the boss now, aren't I? He's my advisor. My contract advisor. I need to slow down a little bit. Um, and I'm assuming we're going to be able to move our gear up between the two companies as well, I suppose. So we've gone, gone to a more salubrious downtown... Um, premises puts us right in the middle of where everything's going on now I don't know whether or not there's going to be other building materials companies down here because I haven't gone round and unlocked all of the um, all of the various different locations which I said I was going to do I said you no, know I said you could do if you wanted to I just haven't done it yet um, because I think if we've got to come all the way up here every time to get vehicles machinery or building supplies I suppose there was only one quarry. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it will unlock more. Like I said, a lot of people that have been commenting and messaging are, are way ahead of me. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm taking feedback from people and comment, comments people are making and things people are suggesting. There's a lot of traffic for this time of night, isn't there? It's not even rush hour. It's half past nine. Maybe everyone's just heading into the town. Heading into town for the evening. I say the evening. I'm feeling... I'm, I'm an old man now. That kind of... Really? What, I'll be heading out at half past nine? No. I'm heading home to bed at ten. I'm <laughs> sorry. So my kids last night. Even my youngest is not a youngster anymore. Um, she was going out to meet all her friends, going out for a few drinks and a bit of bowling and stuff like that. My twins and some of their friends were going out for someone's party. They were all then meeting up later on and going clubbing. I went to bed. Oh, what? I didn't see that. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. So they all went out and um, I went to bed about midnight, which was late for me, I guess. They weren't home. I can't imagine going clubbing at my age. <laughs> it's quite terrifying. Oh dear. Mind you, I don't expect any of them to surface any time soon. I decided to drive the whole way in the end. I was going to jump. I thought I'm going to jump to somewhere else and have to drive back in. Have I missed my turn? No, it should just be coming up. This is it. This is our new premises. Um. Okay, it's not opening. It's going to be def difficult to get into our new premises if the gates won't open. Okay. Let's go around. Is that the exit? Good, because the arrow is showing me there. Oh, I'll speak to him. Congratulations on the impressive company premises. My old company in the village can barely keep up, right? From now on, all paths are wide open to you, and you get to decide what to do next. You'll see, there's plenty to do in this city. Some important stakeholders are constantly fighting for things to improve here one day, but there's no active support. There's my old school friend, Mayor Hardfield, the tourism officer, Pam, the exciting and not to be underestimated tech entrepreneur, Sky Dunner, and the rough around the edges harbor master, Liam O'Reilly. They are your go-to people when it comes to exciting and well-paid jobs. If you want to make a difference here, Meet them and find out what they're up to with the city. Good luck to you. Take care and see you soon.
Ooh. Looks like I'm on my own. That is pretty cool, though. And the doors are open to me now, metaphorically and actually. So there's where you can get our forklifts from. I assume that's our warehouse space. I want to open the campaign menu. I haven't really been paying attention or looking out for uh, collectibles for a while. I suppose I should have been doing that too. Let's grab that one since it's really obvious right in the middle. Um, yes, let's open the campaigns menu. Oh, it's unlocked all of them. I thought it would do one at a time. I thought it'd be that kind of you complete one, go on to the next one. So we can go through and do anything we want. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? What do I feel like doing? Obviously, the Ferris wheel is the one. It's like, oh, that'd be cool. Help the mayor. Putting our buildings in, creating town squares. Vertical farming. Mm, that's right up my street. Well, maybe we'll see. Solar energy. Space project. project. I've said, what's the program recently, actually, about that? Vertical farming about spaces being used, a bit like during World War II, where every every scrap of ground was used for, for farming, that dig for victory thing. About um, like skyscrapers and tower blocks and office buildings where they're taking the roof spaces and making them into allotments and these um, up the side of walls, they have these hanging spaces where um, plants and flowers and all sorts of stuff grow up the side. It's incredible. And a lot of buildings now are having beehives on the roofs and it's... It's pretty, it's pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Let's, um, I'm pretty taken by that, by the harbour master. Pier is neglected and nothing more than a place for goals to meet. It's more than due for refurbishment and upgrade for the seawall. That's going to be concrete pouring and stuff, I would imagine, isn't it? Okay, uh, what about this one, then? Sandy ambiance, the boardwalk, the only uh, the once inviting beach promenade is unfortunately hardly recognisable anymore. Needs clearing up if you want tourists and locals to start visiting the beach again. You know what? I might do that. Should we do that? Briefing, land development, construction preparation, concrete construction. Whoa, okay, this is going to be a long old project. Um, wow, estimated earnings 431,400 for the entire contract. Let's do it. First up, briefing. Then land development, construction, concrete, bolt materials, concrete construction, light structure. And it continues. Crane work, transport, debriefing. Uh, this is going to be a few episodes in its own right. I can see that now. Materials. Okay, we get a shopping this nice and early. That's good. Location. Just down there. Well. Sandy ambiance. I can now create multiplayer games if I wanted to. Uh, I wasn't going to do that yet. So, we need to take a drive out. And what I think I'll do is unlock some places on the way. Let's check out the map. Oh, there aren't any places on the way. There's where we're going to, and there's like one place next to it. Um, I just think if I can, well, once we're there, actually, that'll unlock that, won't it? But all these undiscovered locations. Oh, yeah, there's another gravel plant there, isn't there? Industrial area, steel trade. We haven't really used that yet, have we? Oh, there you go. There's another building yard there. Yeah, I'll unlock a few of those, and we'll uh, give ourselves a few options. Right. Say so just gone midnight. I will do that, and I'll. But what I should really do, I need to invest in. Why do we? I suppose I should do really, because I'm putting wear and tear on my vehicles. Um, like a, a pickup or there is um a couple of packs now. There's one that's an expansion. You can get a car, a car, and something else. What is it? There's upgrades, and there's one for bobbleheads and stuff for the cabs of your vehicles and stuff. I haven't I haven't done that. Um, they're a little bit more on top than another. £2.50, £3 each one or something. I wasn't that bothered about having bobbleheads. So.
I've spent the night time hours, it's now just gone 6 o'clock in the morning, doing this, going around and unlocking all the various different bits of them. Most of them are petrol stations, gas stations, but we have got another vehicle dealer, we have got another building material dealer, and all the ones that I unlocked were down there in one of the previous episodes. So we are now at this fuel station here, and we're just going to pop across and speak to the tourism officer. Old engine. Of course, on the wrong side of the road. I'll turn just up there. Oh no! I timed that wrong. I need to cut across. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll be sneaky and cut the middle. Up the middle with smoke, um, but it didn't quite work out that way. Right. Oh, that's pretty... <laughs> they put out the rubber matting so you don't damage the kerbs to drive over with construction stuff. And what do I do? Uh, bump up the kerb. Right then. Hi, I'm happy to see a new face in the industry. I was hired to establish beach tourism for the city as a secure source of revenue and to draw upscale beach visitors and vacationers here. It's a long-term investment and an opportunity to make this city more attractive to its many residents again. Together, we'll make a few changes to transform this bleak place into a beach paradise with recreational offers and vacation facilities. This beach used to be noted in every tourist guide for this country and has always been a popular meeting place for a stroll along the water. Now, the glamour of the old days has faded and Sadly, it barely looks the same. Everywhere there are sandy paths, dirt, and decay. I'm happy that your company is accepting the job to bring this place back to life. Okay. Flatten area. Oh, goody. <laughs> goody, goody gumdrops. Um, Nothing I love more. So, do I go bulldozer? Do I bring down my backhoe, which might take quite some time? We need a bulldozer, don't we? Let's be honest. Oh, look. Pool party. Isn't that weird? I, that was just in my last episode. So, this needs to be levelled off. I think it's just going to be a case of just dropping the thing down and just honking forward, I think. Now this is a, an, an odd episode in so much as I, I don't know, I wasn't sure how much I was going to get done. Um, what I think I might do is I'll jump this to the building materials depot because we're going to need it for loading things up. I'll go and get the, the low loader and we'll come down to the vehicle machinery place here. That being said, hang on a minute. What can I do here? Company, vehicle fleet. If I put these into storage, I can take them out of storage down at my new place, can't I? Store. I don't know. Are only going to be available in the other place? I guess that's the first test. I mean, this is the first time having two different facilities that I could possibly move stuff around from. So what I'll do then is from here, I'll, like I said, I'll jump to not the vehicle dealer. Where are we? There. Cool. If I park that in the bay so that when I need something, I can come and get it. Unless, of course, it, there's some other building material, something I'm going to need to collect. If there is, I can always do that. Once I make a bit more money, and I can take on the side contracts and stuff, all the, you know, doing road working, and I can do, um, you know, people's additions on their houses and swimming pools and stuff like that. This is just the campaign stuff. I don't have to carry on doing the campaign stuff. I can bounce between them. So if I find I get, you know, a few jobs in on this and think, actually, you know what, I want to do something a little bit different, I absolutely can. That's the beauty of this. Going on to our jobs, we've got active jobs, we've got our offers. So we've got a campaign and we've got contracts and we've got all these. So we can scroll across and look at just picking up a quick job, you know. Transport. 
because I've got to transport some sheets and that one small containers and holding house that pays out quite well so I can kind of bounce through these as well um, not just ones that were shown on the map but these are available under jobs and contracts as well so there's a whole load of stuff mini jobs just little bits that you know pay a little bit so yeah I've got options for various different things I can do so I'm going to do now is we'll go there see if this works I don't know how it, if it will if it does this is me just testing things out like I say you may be way ahead of me and you've already done this and you know that it does um, I'm just uh, just checking it out this chap is a big yard isn't it that's a cool view actually thinking it I don't know a thumbnail yet hmm I need a bulldozer I might try something a bit bigger <laughs> that would be well it'd be quicker wouldn't it see this one that one this one here come on now You beauty. Brilliant. Same going to work though and going, isn't it? The only thing I could do is that, uh, again, if you don't want to run anywhere and that kind of thing, I could just do that. <laughs> it's no different to fast travelling, you just skip into the vehicle. If you want. Then we're going to fast travel this to the vehicle dealer. Come on. And even if I just finish this episode, getting a bulldozer, a bull, well, yeah, the dozer, and just flattening a bit of ground, we'll do that. Vehicle shop was there. So, where do I want to park this up? To be able to, it depends where the vehicles appear. Where's the front of the building? I have no idea. Shim, it's there, is it? Okay, right, what we'll do is let's extend the ramps, let's hop out, and let's sort of, it's probably going to be over there, isn't it, where I just came from? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It's all the way around here, surely. Over there? No, that's too far away now, isn't it? Surely. We are definitely in the right place. You watch it be the um <laughs> the doors around the front of the first side, but I should oh, I got out before it finished doing its thing. Okay, I'm I'm boofled. Just have to do it from there instead. Um so what are we gonna go for? Are we going to go for the that? <laughs> it's only four thousand nine hundred to rent. I'm going for the cat D8. Should we do it? Let's do it. 
<laughs> oh man, where is it? Oh, look at it. This is the one I've got a Lego set of. I haven't built it yet. The trouble is, if I take it, to build a set like that, it's a Technic set and it's got an app for your phone so you actually can control the movement of it and the raising and lowering of the blades and that kind of stuff. And it's like. Oh man, I keep forgetting we've got to do both here. Well, that doesn't hang about, does it? bit I think. Oh hang on. Doesn't like that. I'll be right. Don't do this to me. Does it keep veering? Veering Lynn. Come on, stay on. Doesn't want to go on it. Come on, there we go. Be happy about being on here. Don't be like that. Just got the ramp thing initially. Make sure I've got it in the right place as well. will do is, what do I press? That one? No. Oh, my mind's gone blank. What do I need to press? Not that. Oh, it does look good though. Oh, what was it I've got to press? Not triangle. Oh man, how is my mind? I've just blanked. Don't want to put the ripper down. Not doing that. Okay, something I can do is see if it will let me strap it down. Yep, secured. Strapped on, good to go. Let's do that. We got there in the end. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive past and we will use the rubber matting. I assume it's rubber matting, I'd say that. How are we looking? Not quite straight, that'll do. Do, 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 do. do. No, uncouple that, uncouple that. Up out of there. It is cool. As far as expansion goes, expansion equipment is pretty impressive, isn't it? Not that I've bought it, but you know what I mean.
So I guess... Tilt it right forward. So that's... No, it's going to be one of those ones, isn't it? I don't want to dig the ground, I just want to flatten it about there. Is that about right? <laughs> this thing is nuts, but incredibly cool. Um, okay, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? We have to do this in stages, huh? Right? Loving life. As I often do when I'm doing jobs like this, it's going to take a little while, so I'll see you in a minute when I've got it all cleared. My mind's completely blanked onto which one of the buttons I have to press to show me the... It's not that one. Not that one. Oh man, why can't I remember what it is? Oh. Uh, context menu construct... Oh, I think it was that. Yeah, well, I was pressing the right button. Just, um, I'm supposed to hold it, aren't I? Sorry, I'm just talking about that one. To see how much I need to level. I, I, when I was doing, uh, loading this on to the back of the low loader, I wanted to find that button so I could work out whether I was on the low loader properly. And I could not for the life of me. I pressed triangle, um, and it kept going into the menu. I thought, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it doing that? And it was because I needed to hold it. I knew it was that button, I just...
might as well leave the blades in the ground while I'm uh, going that way backwards as well because it helps flatten it. I'm I'm no dozer operator. I don't know. I'm just you know, from what I've seen farmers do when they're clearing bits of land and stuff, and they drag with the blade backwards as well as forwards when they're doing stuff. There we go. Look, big chunk done. Nice. We're at 97%, we're nearly there. There you go, it's going to do it now, even though we've completely cleared that entire pile, but that's all right. Get the stuff off the edge. Clear the construction site. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed using this DA, it's awesome. Uh, let's do that. Let's clear the construction site. So, we've got to use this, we've cleared a bit of land, we've expanded our company, we've got new premises, I've gone around and given us some uh, locations, which is great, um, which gives us the option to fast travel, and the world is our mollusk. We now can do so much stuff, we can do all the campaign stuff, we can do all the other bits of logs as well. Um, it's going to be mint. over the rubber matting as well on the way out. I don't have to, but hey, it just feels right, you know. <laughs> feels like I should. Oh, we got paid. A big chunk of 127,000. Get in. Okay, so now we're probably at a point we could afford to get ourselves something rather cool, you know. Now we just go and get all the building materials. Hence the reason why I left my lorry where it was. Now I suppose what I could do with I don't know actually whether or not can I put stuff on the low loader? I'd get a lot more on the low loader, wouldn't I? Potentially. I don't think I'm going to need this again. So potentially this would go back. Go over the rubber mat and then crunch up the curb. Crunching away. Turn the lights off. Hop out. Awesome on the D8. I didn't do a bad. I was quite happy with that. I did a pretty good job. I was very pleased. So, bulk material transport sack, rebar mesh, pallet of paving stones, pallet of concrete bags. Deliver and spread the gravel. Oh, actually, you know what? I might need to keep hold of that, mightn't I? I've got to spread the gravel. Is it going to need to be levelled? 
or do I just drive across there with a dump truck? Hmm, that's a good point, I don't know. Let's go to our jobs, go to there. Materials delivery, gravel delivery. So the materials delivery and gravel delivery, there's going to be something completely different. Oh, oh, articulated dump truck. Oh, and then gravel compaction. So yeah, probably not. We'll probably just drive across with that. Tip it all out and then we'll get a compactor and uh, kind of bash plate it down. Nice. Right, so the D8 can go back. Oh, if I need to lease it again. We, we made a big chunk of money out of that. If I need to lease it again, I'll lease it again. Not a problem. So let's go to that. Uh, we're on that already. Return it. Yeah. And in the next episode, gravel delivery, bulk materials, and let's carry on with this. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with the progress we've made in this episode. It's all working out really well. Um, I hope you join me for the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.